Hi, Eric Lenask here. Uh, we're here at the uh, TMC Roadshow in San Jose, California this week. And I'm happy to be talking with Michael Yeager from Quality Systems. Michael, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Good to see you again. Uh, so what are some of the latest trends that, that uh, you guys are seeing in, in the, uh, the testing arena? I would say probably one of the biggest trends is uh, a consolidation of the labs. So a lot of the, our folks in our companies, you know, whether it be the telcos, the carriers, the NEMS, they're trying to consolidate and reduce their capex. So they're taking what used to be several labs and trying to consolidate them into one, two, or three labs and provide remote access to their folks. And so as this equipment gets more and more expensive, they can't keep buying multi-million dollars of equipment to put in a lab that's only utilized 10 or 15% of the time. So they're really trying to be more efficient with using that as well as um, going green, right? So it's been, uh, used to be where all that equipment was in the lab powered up 24-7, and they're only using it 10% of the time. So how do they do a better job of using that equipment, you know, a better using of that, equi uh, of that equipment and reducing their, their carbon footprint, if you will, yeah. Well, and in addition to reducing CapEx, they're reducing their OpEx. Uh, you don't have quite a, nearly as much uh, on-site maintenance that you need to, to go through with your lab equipment. Exactly. Um, there's yeah. so many different ways to co uh, save costs. But how do they accomplish all of the testing that they need to do then? So then, so the idea is then if they can provide remote access, so we have customers who have labs potentially here in San Jose, and they have, uh, using our software, uh, people in India can log in remotely. They can create their topologies, their set test topologies, provision, configure them automatically, and spend time testing. It used to be they call up San Jose and they'd say, okay, I need you to go reserve this equipment. Now they can do that all remotely, and they don't have to bug the folks here, and they can really sh uh, share the, the equipment. Does it also make them easier uh, to, to share uh, test scenarios and setups and also as well as results? Exactly. No, and I think that's the other piece. So our solution is really focused on lab management and device provisioning as well as test automation. So the idea is that uh, by consolidating this effort and having our fo the users create their own test IP, uh, that they can share within the organization. So the experts in network and the experts in uh, data or storage, whatever that may be, can create those uh, tests share them with the other folks and build a lot of uh, efficiencies in the process. Any sense uh, as far as how much uh, service provider might be able to uh, save in terms of either uh, dollar figures or time? Yeah, uh, so a an example would be uh, one of the um, MSOs that we're working with on the East Coast. They would spend uh, two weeks just to set up a, a test. So that means they're not spending time testing, right? So they're spending two weeks just to create the, grab the equipment, wire the equipment, provision it, configure it before they even start the test. So they're able to take that two week uh, time period and reduce it into less than a day. So they can automate that and then they can spend, that's, you know, they're test experts. They're supposed to find bugs and the idea is if they can find more bugs, they can retreat and uh, introduce a higher quality product. So now they can focus on what they're supposed to be doing as opposed to, you know, wiring up com equipment and configuring it. So huge improvement. Well, and, and for them, I think at the end of the day, what it means is being able to uh, introduce new products, new services, new applications m much, much, in a much shorter time frame, getting it out to market, uh, ultimately generating revenue from them. Exactly. You know, I think it's funny because the marketing guys come into the, the engineering folks and say, okay, here's what we want to release. We want X, Y, and Z. And they say, it's going to take me six months to test that. And they go, so you got to take that out or take that out. So the idea is they can they can release that product and they can test it in the amount of time that they need with, uh, with automation. And also, uh, as you said, fix bugs, re go through the t test scenario again without having to go through that whole process that whole of process, setting it exactly. up. Exactly, we, we automate it so if they, if they uh, create that topology, they can save, so not only can they save their test IP, they can save their test topologies in the software so that they can run a test then they can reconfigure it for someone else to use, and then the next day, if that still if they still have a problem, they can come back and just bring that topology back. They don't have to go back and manually do that effort. It's all automated. Excellent, Michael. Thank you so much for joining us thank here you. at the uh, yeah. TMC Roadshow. Good to have you again. Thanks.